probably the most common problem that arises for people in the early months and sometimes again early years of meditation practice is a somewhat hard to account for drowsiness that hits when you sit down to meditate. Now I have to preface this by saying that as a general rule it is not good to meditate when you're really physically exhausted. To do formal meditation when you're simply wiped out. If you've had a 12 hour work day and you are just at your limit, don't go right home and sit on the Zafu normally. Meditation cushion. Don't normally do that. Go home, get some rest, and then meditate again if it's good to do so. Or simply pack it in, you know, eat something, go to sleep, then in the morning do your meditation. You know, meditation can at times, not infrequently, be difficult enough without trying to do it under real, real serious physical limitations like this exhaustion. More than once I have started to meditate with the best of intentions and after five or ten minutes realized, man I am in the wrong place, I've got to go to bed, try again later. Okay, that being said, what about the case, and this happens to many people, I think it must happen to just about everyone, the early months or sometimes years of meditation, at least some of the time. That you sit down, you're actually pretty lively and normal at the time that you sit down to meditate. Then after a few minutes, you just cannot keep your eyes open, you cannot stay awake. Maybe you don't fall asleep, maybe you just go into a kind of drowsy fog, but sometimes you just, it's just hard to stay awake. What, what's going on there? Well, most of the time what it is, in most cases what it is, is that there's a layer of spiritual pain in there right under our consciousness. Right, right on the edge of our consciousness, let's say. It's wanting to come up a little bubble of pain. And we're just going to sleep or into a sleepy state as a way to get around it. In my early years as a monk, especially in my first oh, year or two, this was a frequent problem for me. You know, after a few years and I started to really, that bubble of pain started to break, you might say, when it hit. Well, then I understood something of what I'd been going through. So how does one cope with it? It's really the same as with any form of wandering thought or distraction. When you find that wave of sleepiness arising, accept it. Don't fight it. And at the same time, be still within it. And if you need to do so, if, it's, if you need to do so, if you start to slump into your position, then readjust your position at that point. Get more upright. Maybe take, take a deep breath and then just relax into it and accept the wave of sleepiness. Now, at the same time that you're accepting it, don't succumb to it. And that can be easier said than done because sometimes before you even really notice that it's hit, you know, you're in a sleepy or drowsy state or you've fallen asleep for a moment. And that's just like getting caught, getting hijacked by any thought. 
or any feeling. No, it's not fundamentally different. You won't, no one stays there asleep their whole life, the rest of their life. Eventually they're going to wake up. When you wake up, if needs be, readjust your position and just go back to the meditation. So what is it that I am describing here? It's just the same patient, accepting and compassionate effort. There is a, a, a great determination, but it's got to be a moderate determination. If you encounter this drowsy state and you simply hammer against it as hard as you can with your will and try to flog yourself through it, you only make that underlying bubble of pain all the more anguished, you see. And that's not going to help. So it has to be a, a patient and at the same time a serious effort. Here's something that I frequently encountered in my years training with my master. I would be sitting there and I would slip into a a sleepier, drowsier, kind of foggy state. And then my master would come in the meditation hall and all of a sudden I'd be wide awake and fully there. So if I thought, up to the point when my master came in and I kind of woke up, if I thought that it was just physical fatigue, that reminded me that there was more going on. At the very least, you could say, there was more going on than just physical fatigue. Yes, indeed, sometimes I was physically tired, but there was more going on because I didn't have any trouble being fully there when she was there. After a while, if you keep up a regular meditation practice, this problem just goes away. At least with regard to the sleepiness. The problem of mental fogginess is another matter. And that can hang around a lot longer. So again, if you find yourself falling asleep or being unaccountably hit with waves of drowsiness, don't hammer against it with your will. In your heart, bow to it. This too is Buddha. If you need to do so, adjust your position so you're upright, having that spine in a nice upright position is really helpful for this. If need be, take a deep breath or two and relax into it and this too will pass. It's just another passing state.